Well, that's a relief.東の土地国より海を渡りて現れる若者姫七から未だ知らず。かの身滅ぼすことも、かの願い叶えしことも。その者、勇み立つ時、我を求めん。共に荒れの道を行かん。待ちて願い、開口は我の古を言うか。And thus the saga begins. Like for real this time, not not joking. Um Welcome to the epic sequel to Shenmue. Shenmue 2. I'm playing the Dreamcast version of the game, which as far as I know was only released in Japan and Europe. And in Europe it's in English, but it has the Japanese dub. One of the reasons being that the English dub wasn't actually finished by the time this game was released in Europe. There's kind of a weird story behind the reason for that, but I'll probably explain that later. For now, we're just going to start a new game using our cleared file from Shenmue 1, just like Mass Effect. Uh, some things will carry over from the old game, I'll explain what those things are in a bit, but for now, Ryo Hazuki's epic quest to avenge his father's death continues.
バンチャイ、コウナンガイ、オンダロウ。当李少老師はここに。まずはワンチャイか。Okay, before we get stuck in, let's have a look at our notebook. Pretty much the same as Shenmue One, it just tells you about things you're doing as a reminder in case you forget.、Um, the first part of the book is just a summary of the first game. You might notice that there are no phone numbers at the beginning, that's because there are no telephones in this game. You don't need to call Nozomi every night, which is fortunate, I guess, because the phone was terrible and it was this horrible rotary dial that took ages. You can see that all of our money has been converted into Hong Kong dollars, which is nice because we earned a lot of money from forklift,、uh, you know, box carrying. Although, a little bit curious is that if you remember when we left for Hong Kong, Ine san and Fuku san gave us an envelope which presumably had money in it,、uh, but none of that is taken into account, so I don't know, maybe Rio spent it on the boat. I don't know. Just quickly looking at our inventory, most of these items are from the previous game. Uh, this is an item that Master Chen gave us at the very end, which is to introduce us to Tao Li Shou. Here's the amulet that Nozomi gave us. It's supposed to bring us good luck. Let's hope it does. We might need it. It's the same texture on both sides. I'll just check. Here's the letter from Zhu Yunda,、um, the one with the backwards Chinese. We're just holding on to that for some reason.、And、here's the mysterious white leaf, which again serves no real purpose. You can check out our move scroll, just like in Shenmue 1, it shows us all of our moves and the button inputs for them, but as you can see, it's a little bit different.、Um, they've changed some of the button inputs for the moves. Some of them are now, I don't know, you have some moves that have the same button inputs, so you get to customize your move set. So, as you can see, you know, the pit blow is not just forward and punch anymore, it's now back and forward and punch, which is also the command for a different move altogether. So,、um, yeah, you have some customization on how you want to do these moves.、Um, you can see the little like, bar behind them, which shows how well trained they are. Although, there seems to be less of an emphasis on training in this game, so you, you can't really spend a lot of time, you know, grinding your power level in empty car parks and, you know, let's get sweaty and all that. Here's our toy capsule collection, just like in Shenmue 1.、Um, some of the items that were in our inventory, like the matches and the batteries, and our copy of Space Harrier, are now confined to the items folder, rather, collections folder rather than just a general inventory item.、Um, and also, there's the album, which shows us all our photos, just like this brilliant photo here. And also these photos. So now all the photos are in their own separate folder as opposed to being in the inventory, which is nice. And we'll be getting a few more photos in the future as well. So now that I've gone over that, I think it's about time we actually start our adventure. Let's go! Abi no kata, ikkyoku kite ikin na sare. Who the hell are you? Yeah, why not? We got the money to spend. Dana Sama, don't you die? I shall know it. Ah. ワンチャイという場所を探しています。ワンチャイならあちらでございます。ありがとうございます。That's a pretty vague direction that way. Well, there's only one way off this port anyway, so let's just keep going. あの。ニーハオ。食事まだ？え、食べたけど。<笑>違う違う。今のは香港の挨拶よ。へえ、そうなのか。聞きたいことがあるんだけど。それってもしかしてこの辺のこと？ええ、まあ。ワンちゃんに来たばかりだからこの辺のことはよくわかんないの。そうか。ごめんね。その辺のお店の人に聞いてみて。
I'll try and keep the unnecessary banter to a minimum unless I have something interesting to say. So let's just keep going. One thing you might immediately notice, especially if you jump into this straight from Shenmue 1, is that they've significantly improved the camera controls. Using the analog stick to look around has a greater camera speed, so it's a lot more better and fluid. Zooming in to the first person mode also gives Ryo Hazuki telescopic vision so you can zoom into detail on things further away and and stuff. It's, it's kind of strange, but pretty useful. Well, since we have a lot of money to spend, why not spend some time shopping? So these are a new kind of item you can get, just engraved Zippo lighters with various designs on them. They don't serve any purpose in the game. They're just going to our collection like the toy capsules. They're kind of pricey, but you know, might as well collect them. I'm pretty sure these are fake. I think actual Zippo lighters are more expensive than that. I remember one time I bought some generic digital watch while I was in Hong Kong. Hi, Maido. All the buttons fell off before I got home. Just goes to show you should be a little bit careful what you buy when you're in Hong Kong. Well, that's the store pretty much cleared out. Let's continue onwards. Hey, handsome boy! Shashin to Tangrio! Ima Shashin to Rareta de Show? Eh? Are out of the Urinikuruayo? Shitskoku it the Kurukedo, Murini Kauko to an Aikara. Ah, hi. Kiotskatene, Hong Kong, you are a rush to Mozerkara. Wakarimasa. Moshi to Maruto Koroniko Matara, Atokono Kain Shikuakujo ni Yukto Iva. いつでも無料で泊まれるのよ。ご親切にありがとうございます。こちらこそ船が怖くて泣いてばかりだったこの子によくしていただいて。それじゃあどうか気をつけて。さよなら。Well, ain't that adorable? Well, we now have a place where we can sleep and save our game. The Free Stay Lodge. Let's check it out. So here's a new thing to Shenmue 2. You can now buy maps. I'm pretty sure most places give you maps for free. I don't know why they're charging you $10 for one. Oh well, but now we have a map. You can see in the bottom corner there is a mini map. And another feature is if you press the B button and then press another button, you can put down different labels. So. You can now put down a marker on your map, just in case you want to remember where something is. So as you can see, on the side, we have our good pals, the capsule machines. The guy is using that one, we can't use that one at the moment, so let's just use this one instead. The harbour set. This is the same as the harbour set in Shenmue 1. So, let's, let's buy a few of these, because, you know, because why not? Hmm? Hooray! A container. What every kid wants. You'll also notice that the animation they use for using the toy capsule machine is significantly faster, so now buying toy capsules is much more efficient and less tedious. Which is good, because uh, we, we might be spending a better time doing this. Hmm. Anchor. Great. Let's see what else we get. Hey. 
Okay. Heavy bomb. I just killed the mood. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm go. Yep, just like Shenmue 1, you get those weird toys that you get in all the capsule machines. Like heavy bomb and the super balls. Let's see what the Sega machine gets us. A Y button? Why do you do this to me? Anyway, as I mentioned, with the new and improved toy capsule machine animation, we can buy toy capsules at a much faster pace, so if we keep getting like duplicates like we're doing now, then we can just sort of skim through all of them. But yeah, whatever. That's enough toy capsules for now. Let's check out the Free Stay Lodge. And there's a homeless man in here. Let's talk to him. すいません。なんじゃな。ワンちゃんに聞きたいんですが。わしからも一つ質問をしよう。答えることができたら教えてやらんでもないがな。質問川は何時に流れるのじゃな。This guy's giving us the weird Zen treatment, but let's give him the scientific answer。水は高いところから低いところに流れるからです。うん、一理はあるが。その理屈では、リンゴが木から落ちるのもまたしかり。それはその通りですが、目だけで物を見てはいかん。心にも目を持つのじゃ。I なかなか面白い陰さだが、それはヘリクスというもんじゃん。わしが聞きたいのは物事の陰がだ。海に向かうためです。うん、その通りじゃ。どんな大河も生まれた時は一滴の水。水は母なる海に帰ろうとするものじ
And let's have a look at the winning can. It's the ferry that we arrived on, which is nice and strangely prophetic, I suppose. And here's a rather snazzy looking red forklift. Okay, so let's continue our journey. Yeah. Yes, have more important things to do, like buying capsule toys. Over here is a fortune teller. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, let's have a look, see. I see, yes, I see. It's all becoming clear. It seems that this is a hand. あなたの求める行き先がありますね。でも、でも、あなたの手元からお金が離れていく暗示が、お金が。私にわかるのはここまでです。よかったらまた来てくださいね。あなたの旅にご加護がありますように。ありがとう。Lose all my money. Surely you don't mean I'm spending too much at the toy capsules, do you? Because I can never spend too much. So there are a few of these um, fortune tellers dotted around in Hong Kong. They're like the fortune teller in Shenmue 1. They're designed mainly just to give you a hint of what to do next if you're ever stuck. You don't get a reading for like the gamble, so you can't pay them to tell you which slot machine to use and stuff like that. Now it's just purely for telling the future. Well, I don't want to spend all day dawdling, so I guess I probably should continue my journey towards Wan Chai. It feels like these loading screens are a lot longer in Shenmue 2. Or maybe it's just the fact that there are more of them. It makes them feel longer. ジャンネルだったら。かけ金はいただくぜ。うん。なんだ兄ちゃん。え、腕っぷ必要そうだな。遊んでいかねえか。俺は人を探してるんだ。あいつに勝てば何でも教えてやるぜ。本当か?ええ
あんちゃいかならそこの道をまっすぐ行きな突き当たりに鳩の餌を売ってるじいさんがいる鳩の餌ああよく居眠りしてるよでそのじいさんのところを左だあとは道なりに行けばワンちゃんに行けるぜそうか分かったありがとう I like how he asks which way it is to one chai when the sign to one chai is directly behind him as he says it. Okay, so now we know which way to go. Let's continue onwards. Oh, never mind, another cutscene. そっちこそちゃんと前を見て走ってるのかあんた日本人だよあ,あ気をつけなこの香港でもたもたしてたら引き殺されるよワンチャイはどっちだえワンチャイだ仕方ないねワンチャイはあっちさそうかあんた名前はリョウリョウあたいはジョイまあぜいぜいひったくりに気をつけない、well, That was a rather strange introduction, but alright. Not sure what she's doing riding a motorcycle at this speed in a pedestrian area, but hey, who am I to complain? Although, before we continue onwards, I'd like to point out that she was clearly heading in towards this direction. And goes around this corner where there is a blatant dead end. So I don't know where the hell she's gone to. Also, she was heading in the other direction earlier, so I don't know why she decided to turn around when when Ryu Hazuki got in the way. Hey, another capture machine. The old Virtua Fighter classic. Let's see what we get. Damn, this woman's built. Check out those polygons. Is that supposed to be Wolf's victory pose? It kind of looks like he's cheering for a football team. Now it's just a dice. Technically a new dice, we haven't actually had this dice before, so... While we're on the subject of toy capsules though, um, I'd like to point out that not all of the toys from Shenmue 1 carried over. In fact, a couple of the rarest ones aren't included in Shenmue 2. So, Mr. Yukawa, for instance, is no longer with us. And also the super rare Gear-O is no longer in my collection, which is a shame really, because I kind of liked Gear-O, even though we only had her for like well, a day. We don't really need any more directions towards Wan Chai, but he's selling some uh, Zippo lighters, so might as well buy some. While I buy a bunch of dumb Zippo lighters, I might as well talk a little bit about the game. Um, the reason why the European version doesn't have English voices is because... Basically, Shinri 2 came out pretty much after the Dreamcast was dead. And Microsoft bought the rights to Shenmue 2, but only in America for some reason? I don't know. Basically, it meant that they couldn't release the English version of Shenmue on the Dreamcast in America, but they could for Europe. So they released it early in Europe, before they finished the English dub. And then after about a year, they made the Xbox port, which was the English dub. And that's the reason why. Um, I, 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 I don't know really, but yeah, that's uh, kind ah. of it. Um, th there are some differences in the Xbox version. Uh, I guess graphical improvements were one of them. And also a screenshot mode or, or something like that, where you can yeah. take pictures with the camera. Something like that. I, I honestly don't know. I've never played the Xbox version, but otherwise it's pretty much the same game, except with the English voices you all know and love. 
If we have a look to our right across the sea, you can see a cityscape of Hong Kong. I always assumed that was the Kowloon area over there, but we're in Aberdeen right now, which is actually facing the wrong way to see Kowloon, so I don't know what that is over there, honestly. Alright kid, let's see what you're selling. If it's Zippo lighters, I'm probably not that interested. Ah, so it's a box full of capsule toys. Why not? You get three capsule toys per box, so, you know, it's slightly more expensive than buying normal capsule toys, although I think the difference is you have a higher chance of getting some of the rarer ones in these boxes, but yeah, I don't know, it's just a nice little alternative to capsule machines, I suppose, so we're just going to buy a few of these. And after about $150 spent, I think that's enough. Okay, so we just go past King's Road, not a problem. Let's have a look at some of the capsule toys we got though, because we couldn't see them while we were inside the boxes. Um, some of the Virtua Fighter Kid stuff. Not too bad. There's also a new set of toys called Animals. So there's Mary the Goat and Rap the Pigeon. I, I don't know if they're related to anything Sega, like any other Sega game, but there you go. Virtua Fighter 2 stuff, so slightly better character models of the Virtua Fighter 2 characters. And also Virtual On, which is actually pretty cool because I like giant robot things. So yeah, why not? We'll be seeing more of those later on. But for now, I think it's time for a drink. It's been a long boat journey. Probably really thirsty. Mm, nice. This is a new kind of vending machine in Shenmue 2. Sapporo Soft Drinks. Sapporo is an actual brand in Japan, so this is actual product placement, I think. Curious how this survived its transition into English when the the whole Coca-Cola thing didn't. But oh well. A drink's a drink. Okay, I think that's enough dawdling for now. Let's actually continue our journey for real. Let's head towards Wan Chai. No more distractions this time. Can't forget the main reason we came to Hong Kong to avenge our father and all that. ガキを渡しな。どうするつもりだ。てめえには関係ねえよ。そうは行くか。死にてるらしいぞ。こんなところで死ぬつもりはない。もん、今だ。ドラガウェ。待て。<笑> <待て。笑> 